My name is Olutumi Pamela Akinjobi, and I'm from Nigeria. Hi, I'm Natasha. I'm from Mauritius. West Clay, I'm from Brazil. My name is Katie Barbas. I am from Canada originally. Ivana Milivojevic. Leticia Ribeiro, and I am studying law and journalism. Professional accountancy. I'm doing the BA in business studies. Psychoanalytic psychotherapy. Uh, journalism. Every single lecture is very thought-provoking, so everyone wants to take part. Everyone is just engaged and interested from the very beginning. If you recall from our discussion of the ego and the id. Last year I did a higher diploma course here and the fact that I'm continuing with master's program is already saying itself that I was very happy with everything. <laughs> so a very simple test, born out of New York Times versus Sullivan, developed in the Reynolds case, ultimately in Ireland, leading to this leech decision. Brazil is a civil law legal system, so coming here was very, very different, either culturally or legally. So it has been a very great experience because back home we would discuss the common law system but I never really understood how it worked and now that I have studied law here for three years I have a better understanding of it. Unless they, they get the confession from pressure they, they put on while he was illegally detained. I think it's very important to have like so many people from different cultures around you. If you go to the canteen, you can listen to people speaking German, French and Spanish in a single environment. I would recommend the Italian College to anyone out there, especially foreigners like me. You just have to be here to know what it feels like to feel at home in your second home. I think that's, that's, that's a huge part of what it's all about. International students from anywhere can come here and it's in, it, I think it's in the Irish psyche that we're open, we're friendly, we're receptive. So they feel very uh, enabled and encouraged to express themselves without being overly uh, self-conscious or criticised and that in turn helps the Irish student. So we have a, a college that's state accredited so by definition we have to have global standards. That's just a given. So for me, uh, it's very much Ireland. The Ring of Kerry, the Cliffs of Moher, Galway is amazing. Um, up to the north you have the Giant's Causeway, Belfast, and it has such an enriching culture. I initially came just for a few months, but I've been here for six years. I love Dublin so much. It's just a fantastic city with a lot of spark. If I don't know where to go, I just ask people. I just stop them and ask people. It's kind of strange in my country because they expect you to know everything, but here it's like they used to uh, help people. great lecturers and if I have a question they answer it straight away. They are very proactive. And that's the big problem with a principles based approach. We like to think of ourselves as boutique. We have a small college and that means that there is an intimacy about the place. I know the students, a lot of them by name. They know me by name. So while a student is here, we want to ensure that they're happy because a happy student makes a good student. It really feels like you know, a school family if you want. You've evolved. I would really emphasize that because it helps a lot. Before I start 
on that business course, I had no clue what I was going to be doing in the future. But that course gave me a good insight of where I am now and where I want to go. We've started a magazine through the college. Then we've also done things like podcasts for radio journalism, we've made documentaries, we've done web design, a lot of multimedia. Literature review, we'll just start right there. So that's all very important for a starting journalist. They really prepare people very well here, the lectures are really, really good. Any other questions? So if you're from outside and you're thinking about coming over, it would be a very, very great experience. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I did, because this is my last year. Thank you.